I'm seeing the death of Elon Musk. This is the third time the Lord Jesus Christ is speaking to me. Uh, as I received the message two to three months ago. Uh, and I kept for myself. I think I shared this in our ministry page. I need Daniel Hager Ministries. Uh, so a week ago, the Holy Spirit spoke again to me. So he's saying, he just told me the death of Elon Musk. So he, today, very early this morning, he repeat again, the death of Elon Musk. We need to stand up in, a, in prayer. We need to stand up in, a, in an intercession. We need to pray the same way we pray for President Donald Trump. I want to make a correlation between uh, what I'm going to say about uh, Elon. Uh, when President Donald Trump uh, got shot, the first attempt, amen, the Holy Spirit kept me awake. Amen. We live in Norway. Hallelujah. Uh, we are located in Norway. Um, all night. I was praying and I saw President Trump be shot and I was praying. Uh, and then in the morning, we received the news here in Norway. So I understood why the Holy Spirit uh, kept me away, awake. Uh, another thing I want to share is that when we look all the, the contests, the contest, uh, contest, President Donald Trump had a secret service. He had uh, people around him, but they couldn't secure him. They couldn't help him. They couldn't avoid that event to take place. Say amen. Now, why I'm making this video is because it's very important. God loves Elon Musk. Uh, God wants to preserve his life, God, but God needs him to come closer to him. You need to be close to God. You need to pray. You need to acknowledge him with your heart, sincerely. Amen? Because the money, the security around you, we, they will not save you. They will not be able to protect you by the hands of God. The God. And God wanted to see how mighty he is. God wanted to see how powerful him alone is. Amen. All the spectators, the people that were there, sharing on President Donald Trump, listening to him, none of them could save President Trump from the bullet. But God could. Say amen. So I would like to address Mr. Monk, Monsk. I would like to ask you to read the Psalm. I mean, to open your Bible, to open the Psalm 91. You read the Psalm 91 in the morning, and before going to bed, read again Psalm 91. Day and night. Not only Psalm 91. Take also the Psalm 23. Thank God every day. Thank God for this prophecy, because this is the third time. It means that it's settled. It means that the people that want to kill you, they are not just looking uh, to kill you physically. They are also looking to kill you spiritually. It means that in any kind of issue, because everything happens spiritually. Amen. I gave a prophecy about a, a comedian or two, two ladies, that, that African, Afro-American ladies. Uh, very funny. I don't remember that had the, the name right now. Uh, I said that one of them going to die. I say which one? I say can be accident or sickness, anything. But the, in the name is looking at an, a, 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 a door. She passed she pass away. This is exactly what's going to happen with a long mask. And uh, God wants us to pray. This is the third time God is giving the same prophecy. So that's why I have to take it very seriously. American people. God, we all need in, in America, in Africa, uh, in Europe. The good people, we need people that stand for what is right. We need people that stand for what is good. And we don't want them to be uh, eliminated. And the devil is not happy because Elon Musk stood for what is right. What is good, the, the good side. But the good side also, uh, you know, require more commitment to God, you know. Uh, giving yourself to God, you know, sincerely. Your heart, maybe you you do it, but Elon Musk, take time to read some, Refu refute refuse death, because it's, uh, uh, what I'm, uh, I understood, and what uh, I begin to acknowledge is that it's settled, that death is coming, and you are young, uh, and I want to precise that is premature death, even that bad destiny is not your time, 
I repeat, you are not destined to die now. A long monk, you still have a, a journey. Amen. That's why the Holy Spirit come and reveal. He's alerting you. He's alerting his church. He's alerting people to pray for good people like you. When I say good people, I don't go into character. I pray for people that contribute for the well-being of other people. Do you understand? To, to, to you have the society developing, increase. You what I'm saying? Because I don't go personally. I don't know you. Amen. I really pray that God protects you. I really pray that God lift you up. I pray that God put the edge of security around your family as well. Your wife, your businesses, your relationship with people. I pray because I'm sensing what not the light. You need light around your people. Light to, uh, to, to, to for uh, uh, discernment. Because I'm seeing what, as I'm talking what now, the Holy Spirit show me light. It's going to put light around you. You know what? There's light you can see. We can see in the daytime, but we can't see indeed. But when God opens our eyes, spiritual abilities, we can see. So God bless you, Mr. Elon Musk. And I really, I want really to believe that God going to protect you. I really want to believe that God going to increase you more. I really want to believe that those who are, are behind that death, we take it and send it back to the sender. May anyone that wishes you death died. Anyone that even in the thoughts, any thought, negative thought, back to the sender. May God bless you. Praise God.